think was so inspiring uh, about that that, I mean, she didn't do it alone, right? She inspired other people to get involved, and, and how did that come about? You know, it just sort of came about organically. You know, every year she would do this lemonade stand and more and more people would come. You know, she did a lemonade stand that was $12,000 in the front yard, then $18,000 in the pouring rain. And then an amazing thing started happening where she would get letters from, from people that would say, hey, Alex, I heard what you were doing and we set up our own fundraiser and here's our donation to help you. And um, as more and more people started helping her, you know, just the momentum started to grow. So in 2003, with the help of all these other people, she raised over $100,000. And then as 2004 came around, she was really sick, sicker than she'd ever been. We knew that she was dying. She told a reporter during an interview that she was gonna raise a million dollars with the lemonade stand. What's the goal of this year's lemonade stand? One million dollars. And that was the first time that my wife and I said, you know, we gotta do something to help her with this. Up until that point, it was just her. But we said, you know, this is going to be her last stand, and let's try to get other people to set up lemonade stands the same day that she sets up hers. Alex, will you come back next year when you can show me the million dollars? Yeah, hopefully. Within a couple of weeks of that date, you know, she had collected over $700,000. And how much did she raise before she passed away? She raised over a million dollars before she passed away.